stride and weight transfer. We've talked about the grip. We've got the bat nice and relaxed in our hands. We've got our stance, nice square position. Now we're going to talk about how that works into the stride. Relaxed hands, loose. We've kind of picked it up. We're shoulder width. We're balanced. We're athletic. We're nice and relaxed in the box. We're kind of waiting for the pitcher at this point. Whatever he does is what we do. When he starts to show me his, that's when I kind of start showing him mine. It's like a bow and arrow. You shoot a bow and arrow, you're going to pull it back slow. So I'm in. He starts to show me his. I show him mine. I'm going to reach with that foot. And if you watch my foot, it's not a push forward with my head and the whole body going forward. It's a reach with my foot. So I've left my weight still on the inside of this back leg here. And I've reached out with my toe. You don't see me reaching out and laying it on my heel, pushes me backwards, or diving in my shoulder. I want to create a reach with that foot. I kind of walk away from my hands in a sense. My hands are back here, so and everything's straight. We've had a straight stance. Now we've went to a straight stride, so our hands can go straight from right here to the ball. And that's the transfer of the weight. I'm getting here, I've reached my foot, I've landed. I'm taking a straight line to the ball, which transfers this weight and then creates the finish of my swing.